All right, I have my uh, Ed Gun Nishi, uh, humor regulated. This thing has the um, the 350 millimeter barrel, you know, obviously with the extension from Egon West. Um, and it's setting as far as power wise, uh, the, the humor regulator is set at 100 and, um, 110 bars. 110 bars. Uh, it's shooting the, the JSB Kings at 820 feet per second approximately and the King Heavies at about 100 feet per second less so basically about 720 feet per second okay so let's look at my uh, my shots here this is just me sighting it in um, all right so here I have the Benjamin domes and this is the group here so I believe each one of these squares is uh, is one inch so there's the group. So the biggest part is right here. That's that's like what? That's like an inch and a half spread right there. Uh, this is 25 meters, right? 25 meters. This is the um, the kings. So that's pretty tight. That's uh, that's like what? Three quarters of an inch. About three quarters of an inch. And then over here, we have the King Heavies. King Heavies. Um, so a little bit less than an inch, but obviously it's, it's a bigger group than the the Kings. And this over here is the King uh, King Heavy Mark IIs. Uh, slightly wider. I had a little fire right here. I think that actually I think my hand was a little bit shaky on this this one right here. Possibly these two, um, but you know, a little bit wider on the Mark IIs. So basically, the Mark, oh, excuse me, the Kings uh, are the best shooting ones. You know, twenty-five point, you know, twenty-five point three nine grains. So that's it right there. So using the, uh, again, using the three fifty millimeter barrel, the longer barrel. Uh, that's about as fast as it goes. Um, if you go any faster, it wastes a lot of air, and you can actually hear it. It's louder. Actually, even even with the Kings at two at 820, I think it might be slightly fast. You know, it might be better to bring it down to 800. But for for the 820, um, you know, obviously it brings the the King Heavies uh, Mark One and Mark Two down to about 720. Uh, that's actually okay because these things, you know, so heavy that because it's going slower, it's able to use that full power and it's still fine. If I if I turn it up, it it actually go up even more. But at the same time, I think what, you know I'm I'm losing a lot of air in that case. So right now, the way that I have it set at you know at this power setting, uh, shooting all of these, I get about uh, and I'm still using the stock you know uh, tube here uh, set at 200 bars, right? So I always bump my my guns up to 200 bars. At 200 bars, uh, I get um, depending on the temperature, if it's warm. I get uh, 10 rounds if it's uh, cold or cooler like right now it's actually getting cooler now I, I could get maybe 11 rounds so 10 11 rounds so let's take, let's call it 10 rounds um, you know so and, and if you look at the speeds you know for this at 820 it's you know for the weight it's about uh, I think 38 foot pounds you know possibly maybe a little bit more and the king heavies are about a pound heavier, so about 39 foot pounds. So basically, just under 40 foot pounds, and that's about right, you know, considering the length of the barrel here. If I look at my, uh, if I compare this to my my Taipan Veteran Shorty uh, 25, you know, compact, it has about the same uh, length of barrel, you know, 14 inches or so, or 14 and a half inches. This one is, uh, I believe, under 14 inches. Let's see, 350, uh, 300 is is just under 12. Yeah, so it's a little bit under 14 inches, like like 13.9 inches or something like that, or 13.8 inches, something around somewhere around there. Um, so 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 as far as power wise, it's about the same power as the Taipan Veteran. Um, you know, you know when I, on my Taipan Veteran 25 Shorty Compact, I also set that thing to about 40 foot pounds. Um, 
and when I set it to more than 40, I can tell that it's wasting air. You know, you can hear it, it's, it's a lot louder and it just, you know, it just doesn't shoot as well. Uh, same thing with this one too. Uh, when I go basically higher than what it is right now, it actually doesn't shoot as well. Uh, so right now, the setting right now is just about right. Um, so there you go, you know. So you want, you know, more more power out of the 25. You have to go, you know, longer, you know, instead of 350. Seems like for every uh, four inches of, of uh, for every four inches of, um, a barrel you add, it gives you about, uh, you know, around 10 foot pounds more, or, or about, uh, um, you know, using the, the Kings, using the Kings, it gives you about uh, 100 FPS more, 100 foot pounds, or excuse me, 100 feet per second more, um, or so. So, so, you know, basically it's a little bit more efficient. Um, yeah, so that's that's my review uh, so far, and obviously I got the uh, Edgun, uh, you know, the Stalker sight six six times magnification from Didao. I think I, I'm pronouncing that right, Didao, uh, uh, Russian company as well. So so this gun is Russian all the way through, it's Russian here, Russian here. Well, except for the regulator, the regulator is is Dutch. Humor is out of uh, the Netherlands. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, so that's that's my results. Again, uh, King Heavies Mark One, King Heavies Mark Two, Kings, and uh, Benjamin uh, Domes. And these ones are, um, I think it's twenty seven point eight. I think they're twenty seven point eight. Okay, and all these ones I have, this this is just for sighting in purposes. And I was shooting, uh, like I said, I was shooting 25 meters, you know, according to my uh, little laser thing here, and I was shooting off of this bag, basically. This, uh, um, uh, you know, sandbag, or actually, I actually have rice in here. I didn't I didn't have any sand, so I put, I, the only thing I had was rice. So I filled this thing up with rice, and I you know, shot it like so, right? Like that, and just you know, shouldering it, sitting on this little jug right there, uh, like that. Um, so yeah, so so that's it for for now. Uh, as far as the front end here, I'm I'm gonna leave this as is. I'm still debating on if I want to get the other barrels. I think I will, but I'm not sure. Um, uh, I probably will, but uh, I like to you know I like shooting 25. I like the power of it. Uh, I'm still waiting on my uh, my uh, 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 external uh, you know, extra uh, air tube attachment that's down down here. You know that's from uh, also another Russian company that I've ordered from from Russia as well. So so basically it doubles the capacity of this this tube, but it's, it's down here versus like the the one that's 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 there's a guy in the U.S. that makes one, but his he he you know he piggybacks right off of the uh, the fuel hole here on the fuel hole. But his is like it's like angled away, and it's just kind of awkward. It's just weird. It doesn't do anything. It just it's just right here, you know. So that's kind of weird. So this this one from Russia, it's it actually it's it's directly below here. It's, you know, at six o'clock, whereas this one is like at at one o'clock or two o'clock. You know, it's kind of weird. Uh, this one is exactly the, the Russian one. Is gonna be six o'clock, and it will it actually it will bring this buttstock. Uh, you know that that's this diameter lower. So it's, instead of being right here, it'll be it'll be down right here. Because this bus stock will attach to that tube instead of down here, uh, so that that will actually make it a little bit more ergonomical. The way it is right now, when I shoulder this, I kind of have to cock my head down a little bit. I mean, if I if I put like a riser on this, I don't have to. But the thing is, the further away from the your barrel and your uh, cent, you know center of the sight, center of barrel, center to center basically, the further that, away that is, when you shoot it close to the range, uh, the more of a difference there is. As when you when your range changes, you know, from versus from uh, uh, ten meters versus twenty meters versus thirty meters, etc. Right? When when you're really far away, like a hundred meters, two hundred meters, stuff, it doesn't matter as much. But when you're really clo when you're closer, it does make a, a bigger difference. So I want to keep this as compact as possible. And this thing is, you know, this 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 uh, this sight was you know intended for this gun, was designed for this gun. So. And it's, it's really is, it really is a perfect match. It's a fantastic sight. The the, the reticle on it's great. Uh, the optic clarity is is fantastic. Um, 
So yeah, so that's that's my uh, Lishi, Edgun Lishi, um, um, Edgun. So thanks for watching.